Prince Marth, first known for his appearances in the Fire Emblem series, which I absolutely love by the way, makes his first Smash Bros. appearance in Melee. As seen in the Smash Bros. documentary, many iconic figures and top players have mained Marth and brought him to the top of the tier list throughout Melee's competitive history. Ready? Go! Marth wields the falchion, the revered Blade of Light, and almost all of his attacks use it, which is really just logical. I mean, Ganon, come on. Despite his sword covering a wide area, each attack actually has up to three different properties, depending on which part of the sword you hit your opponent with. The very tip is actually the strongest part, and sends his opponents the furthest distance away. However, the weak hilt can sometimes be very useful, as it actually extends combos at higher percents. Because swords are not part of the human body, Marth is safe to swing at enemies even when they are already in the middle of a attack, provided that the user has very good timing. You'll see a lot of long up air and forward air combos slicing through other characters despite their attempts to escape. Even his arms are long, as Marth boasts the longest non-tether grab in the entire game. While Marth does have speed, he is not a gritty, scrappy animal like some other dirty characters. Instead, he's Melee's definition of graceful, using razor-sharp precision and elegant movement to obliterate anyone who stands in his way. Marth can also be aggressive like Fox, but the way he does so is in a completely different vein. Instead of being as close as possible to his opponent, Marth prefers to pressure them and restrict their movement using his incredible range. However, Marth cannot simply run over his opponents by spamming attacks quickly. Marth players must be knowledgeable and systematic about what moves they choose in all situations, which can sometimes make the learning curve a bit steeper than some would like. Defensively, Marth has the 4th longest wave dash and the 2nd longest dash dance, allowing him to get to places way faster than the majority of the cast. These techniques used in conjunction with one another allow for dizzying movement, often scaring and baiting opponents into making a wrong move. A typical way to end stocks is to combo into his epic finishing moves, including tipper forward smash and his down air spike. These all but guarantee death and also look really cool in the process. Without these tools, Marth would struggle to kill his opponents if not for his top tier edgeguarding. Again, his sword being separated from his body allows for interruptions that few other characters can match. This, coupled with his speed off of the ledge, makes it next to impossible to make it back to the stage if the Marth knows what he's doing. For a long time, Marth was considered to be the absolute best character. But as people grew sick of losing to him, more work was done on learning how to beat him, and experienced tourneygoers now understand that he has weaknesses that can be exploited. Marth is more than proficient against most of the top tier characters, but there has been a lot of debate on his ability to beat specialized mid-tiers. Yoshi and Pikachu in particular seem to give Marth pros some trouble. It is worth mentioning that Marth mains typically dislike Sheik, although at the highest level of play it has been said that the matchup is dead even. As mentioned before, Marth requires a lot of knowledge of each character. He is not someone who can mindlessly overrun his opponents, so it may take a lot of research and experience before a player sees their full potential. Marth has some big time KO moves, but they can be difficult to land. Without a way to set up those KO moves, Marth struggles to finish off stocks. Marth has incredible ground movement, and his moves come out really quickly, but missing attacks can leave him open, even if only for a split second. Unlike other characters, Marth's sword is separate from his body, so aside from just the sheer distance of his attacks, Marth's moves will also beat out all others unless they reach further than the entire sword. Marth can almost always get back to the stage as long as he's high enough, thanks to his dancing blade recovery. However, if his double jump or dancing blade is ever hard red, Marth can meet an early end, and his up B has a lot of lag if he ever lands on top of the stage. Marth is right in the middle of the pack for both fall speed and weight. Marth's range allows him to pressure opponents and force mistakes. While safe attack options may be limited, they do an excellent job of keeping enemies on the defensive from distances further than most of the roster. On the other side of things, Marth's range also allows him to wall out standard ways of attack, and his incredible dash dance and wave dash give him excellent tools to avoid hits. However, once his opponents find a way through, he has problems returning to even ground. 
Marth also cannot stay in shield for long, as it doesn't cover as much of his body as other characters. Marth is the character for you if you prefer being in control, cutting off escape and attack paths, and eliminating your opponent's options. You like to be threatening at long ranges. You'd rather have precise, deliberate decision making that tactically gains you positional advantage. You enjoy lengthy juggle combos into immense finishing moves. You must gracefully reclaim your throne, or you're from the future. <laughs>